hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to uh, force these NPC characters to use the sidewalks and the hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to force these NPC characters to use the sidewalks and the crossings road crossings to cross the roads when they want to walk so as you can see so this is the same uh, project that we worked on yesterday as well where we worked on these houses for NPCs so now you can see uh, I have laid out these working areas and those uh, exercise areas and the houses uh, in the sides of the roads and whenever they want to move in between these areas they are not just crossing the roads in the shortest play path they have they just they stick to these uh, sidewalks and the crossings so that's what we are going to work on today so at the moment i don't have any traffic system with vehicles but we will add that part as well so yeah and the sun is setting so in the night time they will go to houses to sleep once their last task is over let's follow this guy he might right he's coming to sleep okay and that guy is still doing his workouts so once it's done he will come and start come and sleep so actually we only have uh, four beds so all of them can't sleep so that's why some of them are just staying the other bed also should be occupied yeah so before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download this project and all other projects uh, that i have done in my channel uh, in patreon page i'll leave the link in the description below so not just this project there are over thousand projects that i have done in my channel so you can download all of them when you become a member without a limit so yeah let's get back to the tutorial okay so here i have designed a simple level with some roads and some crossings and sidewalks so here is the area that uh, characters move the boxes and here we have the houses and two houses of npcs and here this is the place where they do work you know this uh, barbell so now if i just play the game as you can see they just freely move around they don't really follow the sidewalks so they don't use the crossings uh, to get to places they just freely follow in the shortest path and do their work so what i want to do is forcing them to follow these designated paths so how do we do that the first part is i want to uh, prevent them walking uh, across the crossing streets anywhere else but the crossings the zebra crossings so if i press p you can see the now mesh and here we can select it now mesh so basically this contains the whole area so because of that now mesh is generated everywhere but if i want to prevent them to use these road parts we can do this this is not a complex thing it's simply just the way you should design your levels so if i type now here you have 
now modify a volume and I'll place it in the middle and if I make it larger no let me select one right now you see in this area uh, now mesh is not generated that's because now area null is selected here but in case of an emergency let's say somehow the npc character ends up here in that case players should be able to work in that area so now let's first test with this uh, now null let me duplicate this and right I'll move this to a new folder I'll call it navigation now as you can see in none of these areas now mesh is generated let me duplicate this okay now if i play let's see now you can see the characters are using this are using this crossing and here they are freely going on here so i think instead of adding a navigation modifier it would be better if i just add a fence around it now the problem is let's say somehow NPC ends up in the middle now this guy is not moving at all he's stuck there so these kind of things can happen in the be in the gameplay due to player intervention or unexpected things can happen so in that case this guy should not stay there forever so what I should do is instead of making this null if I make it an obstacle instead of a null, uh, this represents a high cost area that should not be traversed by anyone unless no other path exists. Let's use that. Now, in that case, see, now the player quickly go to, go to the designated area and start working on the given path. And others who are already in the designated area uh, do not cross that area do not go into the obstacle area they just stick to the green area or the navigable designated navigation area all right so but still they were going along this path so for that the best solution would be I can either add uh, navigation modifier but I think adding a fence would be much more would works much more naturally uh, let me put this guy over here so so I created this simple fence uh, object in blender let me show collisions okay that's fine these collections are fine it's not like we are trying to show through them or anything so here yeah. we can simply create a fence let me remove
ओके आर सेलेक्ट द मोर पॉइंट लाइक दिस राइट नाउ यू गेट द आइडिया आई जस्ट डुप्लिकेट दिस एंड क्रिएट फेंस अराउंड a fence around all these houses and this one this uh, working area all right so i added these fences fence around these uh, houses oh wait i should have something across oh okay, i added it now if i press p you can see now the navigation is blocked in these areas and now if i play Now you see these guys are using the sidewalks and they are not well obviously they can't cross the fences they stick to the road sidewalk and when they go to the house they use this designated path and when this guy is going to these small boxes he's using this designated area so for the target ah uh, okay i see the target still is outside this area so that's why yeah so i can customize the place that these guys want to move the boxes <coughs> but yeah that's not the focus here so yeah as you can see they are using the sidewalks correctly when they have to cross the streets okay and yeah as usual when the sun set they will go inside houses and sleep okay they are going to sit first but then they are going to sleep perhaps in this house or in another house yeah he's going to sleep all right so yeah that's basically all i wanted to do in this episode making the npcs using the designated paths sidewalks and uh, road crosses so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye and let me know what you guys think about this series this episode and also what else you would like to add to this series or whatever whatever the ideas thoughts that you have in the comments below